Assalamu alaikum and hi to all year one students. Today we are going to learn preposition of time. So what is preposition of time? Preposition of time allows you to discuss a specific time period such as date, days, or actual time. The list of preposition of time that you will learn are at, in, and on. So if you notice, these are almost similar with preposition of place, but it is used in a different way. When to use at, on, and in? We use at when we are discussing about time. For example, 7 o'clock. So we use at. Next, when do we use in? We use in when we are discussing about year and month, such as 2010 or December. Lastly, we use on when we discuss about a day or date, for example, Monday or 1st May 2020 or any date. Yang penting, full date. Let's do some example. I have English lesson at or on 8 o'clock. So since here is time, so we use at. The second example, Ali was born on in 2010. So here we talk about year. So the answer is in. The third example, we need to submit our homework at on Monday. So here we talk about day. So the answer will be on. The fourth example, I always sleep in at 9 o'clock in the evening. So here we talk about time. So the answer will be at. The fifth example, City's birthday is on in December. Since here we talk about month, so we use in. The sixth example, on in 15th October, I shall celebrate my birthday. So since here we talk about date, so we use on. The last example, every day I woke up on at 6 o'clock in the morning. So here we talk about time, so we use by the end of this video, you should understand and remember what is preposition of time, know all the list of preposition of time, and know when to use it. Now, try to do the exercise that I have given you, and best of luck! Thank you for listening. Bye!